Well, my son Curtis was on the waiting list for 12 years. You're not allowed to put the kids on the waiting list until they're school age. So he wasn't put on the list till he was five. Rhonda Klein says she put her son Curtis on the waiting list and had a 10 minute visit once a year to reevaluate her son's needs. Nobody could really tell me where he was at on the list. And so you just waited. When Rhonda's income exceeded the limit for another grant the family previously qualified for called the Family Grant, she called to notify the state. When she didn't hear from the state for a couple of years following that, she became suspicious. And I think what might have happened was at that time they dropped him off the list for services also. Then it was back to step one. So I went back in and had to redo all the original paperwork to put him back on the list, which of course he went all the way to the bottom again. Yes, that's me. Rhonda asked Curtis's case manager on a regular basis exactly where he was on the waiting list. She said, well, let me fire off an email and find out. And uh, that was last summer, well, last May, right before he got out of school. And she said magically that he was going to start receiving services the next month. Although Curtis waited 12 years for services, Rhonda says waiting just one year is too long. There was nobody. I, I was told that actual to pay a respite care worker was $25 an hour. Now, I don't know how many people could afford that for, you know, an hour and a half, two hours a day but I know that $50 a day really wasn't in my single parent budget. What they could afford was $50 a week with a child care provider where, as a 17 year old, Curtis was in the same care as infants and toddlers, just so Rhonda could work. As a parent, you're trying to learn all these processes from all these different agencies, trying to navigate them, negotiate them, find out what your child needs, everything from Social Security to Medicaid to, you know, getting waiver services for a child. And it's extremely confusing. And it took me his whole life to figure out so far to figure out how to do some of these things. This video has been brought to you by the End the Wait campaign and was made possible through a generous grant from the Kansas Council on Developmental Disabilities.